Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace, and just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson, and get ready. We're about to begin. Remember, any kind of tool that you use, whatever project you're working on, eye protection, ear protection. In the last video that we did, we talked about drills and impact drivers. Let's talk about the bits that go along with them. Drill, impact driver, my drill bit of choice, Milwaukee. The reason I picked Milwaukee is because it came in a very nice, convenient, heavy-duty box as well as these babies stay sharp. I've tried all of the rest of them because they're on sale, so I bought them and I was disappointed because they burned right out, they, they dulled right out, and I wasn't real happy. So I went ahead at Christmas time when they were on sale, I bought them, and I have been very happy. Now the nice thing about these is they have the hexagon bottoms. And what I'm talking to you about, that means not only does it go into the drill, which you just insert, hold the chuck, press the trigger, and it's in. That's nice. It's quick. Now, release, hold the chuck, press the button again, and it comes out. Now, the nice thing about the impact driver, the nice thing is because of that hexagon bottom, click, and it's in. That's it. And it's a quick release, too. It's, you just lift up on that, that little collar right there, and the bit comes out. Now, it's a spring collar, so be careful with that because it will spring back at you. It'll shoot that out. Oh, I'll show you. Watch. Watch this. It shoots out like that. It's actually kind of cool. All right. So the bits are great. I love the Milwaukee bits, and I'm very, very pleased with them, and that's the ones that I would most highly recommend. Now let's go over some of the other things. These are Phillips head drivers. Again, Milwaukee. They stay sharp on the, on the top. They don't dull out if you're, if you're going to ream the top of a Phillips head screw. You're not going to wreck the top of these very quickly. They also have the hexagon bottoms on them. Again, hexagon bottoms so we can put it into the drill. That's it. It's in. I push the button over on the side to put it in reverse, hold the chuck, and it comes out. Also comes in a different size, okay? Not only the long, but also the short, depending on your distance and what you need it for. Hexagon bottoms, impact driver, click, and it's in. And this thing will drive like crazy, which is really nice. Something you should get and experiment with. Very nice. Have fun experimenting. That's the best part about having tools. We also had introduced this to you once before. This is what I use to put drywall screws into the drywall. Because once it's in, it's embedded in, it gives it to the perfect depth, get, leaves a little ring, and then when I go over it with mud, it's perfect. I love this thing. So there, there are lots of different bits that you can get for the drills. And I would, uh, I would recommend not buying a giant kit that opens up and it's got all sorts of different um, uh, Phillips heads and straight heads and, and nut drivers and all that because quite honestly, you're probably not going to use it. If you are going to use something like that, it would come in handy. But if you're, if you're the beginner, like these videos are for, it's uh, something like that, you're really just going to waste your money. It's just going to collect a bunch of your dust and that's not what you want. Whatever project that you're working on, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You can do it. Just have them show you how. And with the right tools, your project's going to come out perfect. I'll see you on the next video.